Hello and welcome to Sivan's SAP SD training. So this recording is very useful to the SAP SD and s students and working professionals who are not comfortable in handling the interview questions on EDA or ALEI docs. I'm sure after watching this video, you will all face the EDA and ALEI docs interview questions confidently. Thank you all. So this recording will definitely help you out a lot. So let us see what all the interview questions normally we face during the interviews on ALE IDOCs, whether it is ECC or MS for hung Have you worked on IDOCs and explain about the structure of the IDOC? IDOC is nothing but an intermediate document that carries the application message data being exchanged between two systems like SAP to SAP, SAP to non-SAP, and non-SAP to SAP systems. IDOCs are of two types, inbound IDOCs, which comes from the external systems to SAP system, outbound IDOCs, which goes from SAP to SAP and SAP to non-SAP systems or external systems or third-party systems. The structure of the IDOC is always like control record, data record, and status record. What are all the advantages of IDOCs? We need to explain, IDOC is an electronic alternative to the paper, fax, phone-based transactions, used by the clients to communicate with each other. It has ability to strengthen partnerships and improve business processes. It is a communication tool to do or allow new ways to do business. It is a business basic for the industry and it is preferred way of doing business among the Fortune 500 companies nowadays. It is used as a strategic tool to reduce expenses, streamline business processes and create a competitive edge or advantage among the competitors. Explain about a message type or IDOC type or basic type, IDOC, ALE, and EDA. Message type, which represents the application like sales or shipping or billing or shipment, message being exchanged between SAP and non SAP systems. The message types are the standard message types are MATMOS, orders, delivery, invoice. IDOC type or basic type, which, uh, which plays a vital role, which represents the Structure of the data associated with message type. Example like orders 05, MATMOS 05, delivery 05, and invoice 05. IDOC, which is an intermediate document that contains the data of a message type and exchange between two systems. What is ALE? This is the most important interview question, which is an interface used for configuring, generating, distributing, and posting of IDOCs. This is SAP's own interface within SAP to SAP systems, we use this. ALE is nothing but application link enabling interface. Two, EDA, electronic data interchange, computer to computer electronic exchange of machine processable document in a standard format. What is meant by RFC, logical systems and port? RFC is nothing but remote function call. We use to create remote function call using the transaction code SM59. It stores the physical details of sender or receiver system involved in the ALE communication. Logic is, logical system, we use the transaction codes BD64 or sale transactions to define them. It is a client independent object which provides alias name for the system involved in ALE communication. Port, which we use the transaction code SM59 to create. It is an unique number used to identify the resource on a system. The resource can be an input or output device or a file. We explain about partner profiles. This is the most important interview question you people will often face during your interviews. You have to explain a partner profile is defined for every business partner with whom we exchange business documents. In ALE, a partner is a remote SAP system or legacy system with whom we exchange data. A partner profile specifies the various characteristics of data that we exchange with, the, with a business partner, the mode of operation, and an organization or a person responsible for handling errors for that particular business partner. The partner profile has three views, like general parameters view, where we will maintain all the details, and then outbound parameters view, inbound parameters view. In both outbound parameters view and inbound parameters view, we maintain the process code, inbound or outbound process codes. Upon the execution of the process code, you will find the function model. That also we will discuss. We use the transaction code W20 to create or define the partner profiles. The structure of the IDOC. We explain about the control record of an IDOC. 
Control record is like an envelope of a letter and we can identify the details of sender and the receiver based on the control record. Only one control record per IDOC is available. The control record also contains the data such as IDOC type, basic type or extension, ports, and so on. So many things we can see, you, including the IDOC number. So you can see in this picture where we can see the IDOC number, direction, whether it is an output or input, status, whether the data is success, the IDOC is successful or still it is in the process, and then basic type, all those details we can find, find using the control record. This information will be stored in the table called EDIDC. Explain about the data record of an IDOC. So the data record contains the application data. A data record has two parts, administrative data and data sections. You can see in this diagram, the administrative, uh, administrative data talks about the direction, current status, basic type, partner number, partner type, and the port details also. So these are the filtering criteria whenever you wanted to filter it accordingly while, while uh, monitoring the application data and the IDOCs. The data section where the actual data resides. Data records for IDOCs like header segments, item segments. It is the combination of multiple segments, pretext segments, all those segments are available. So this you can see in this section, Control after that data records EDK01 or EDK01 represents always the header segments and talks about header segment, whereas EDP01 always talks about the item segments. So these are all about the data records of the NIDOC of an IDOC. Explain about the status record of an IDOC. Status records are attached to an IDOC throughout the process as the IDOC processes through the uh, different statuses or encounter scenario. Hence, an IDOC usually has multiple status records. At every milestone, a status code or date and time are assigned to it. The system defines numerous status codes. We can see the codes from 01 to 49 uh, um, will, will be uh, aligned to or assigned to the outbound status codes and the inbound status codes are 50 and above. For the outbound status code, you can see in this screen, in the screen print, the 16 is the functional acknowledgement positive and 05, 04 are error in a dispatch or translation or whatever the, and 03 is the data pass to port OK. That, is, that means 04 means error within the control of the EDI subsystem. This is about the outbound. Whereas inbound status codes, 51 is an error application document posted 52 application posted and 53 status code application document fully posted and 62 IDOC passed to application. 64 IDOC ready to transfer to application through the batch jobs. So we use the transaction code WE47 to see the list of status codes and their details. This information will be stored in the table called EDITS. So what are the mon IDOC monitoring tools and reprocessing tools? which you have worked on. There are multiple IDOC monitoring tools like W02, W05, and W09. Apart from that, any customized tools also can be uh, created in the system based on the client's requirement. By using these IDOC monitoring tools, we can monitor the list of inbound or outbound IDOCs, whether they are successful or failure, and then what kind of a status it is. So we can use the different different filtering criteria to see the IDOCs, like with respect to the partner number or code or IDOC type or message type and so on. The IDOC reprocessing tools are very, very important things. Like BD87, we use the transaction code to reprocess the stuck IDOCs or failed IDOCs by changing. If they are stuck, then you can just execute the BD87 where you can uh, specify the uh, IDOCs which are stuck and then execute so that the same IDOC will be generated. Mm -hmm. And if they are failed with some data mismatch, so then we need to maintain that particular data and then re-trigger those IDOCs. So here in BD87, the same IDOCs will be generated when we modify the IDOC also. Whereas we, when we use the IDOC reprocessing tool W19, so to reprocess the failed IDOCs or inbound or outbound, so by changing certain values or characteristics in the segments, it generates a new IDOC every time. So we need to move the all, whatever the 
old idox are there failed idox are there when we were doing the testing using the w90 especially in the quality system we have to move all the these idox into status 68 so that the, again the same idox cannot be reprocessed when we move the idox into 68 status explain about the roles of functional consultant a web consultant and basis consultants in idox the role of functional consultant is defining of output types maybe application v1 sales v2 shipping or v3 billing assignment of partner through output determination maintenance of output condition records for application v1 or v2 or v3 based on the requirement w20 creation of partner profiles and bd64 distribution model view the ABAP consultant role is to create the process code, IDOC type or extension creation, message type creation, and also set up the link between message type and IDOC type extension. Assignment of function model to the process code. Basis consultant role is to create the port and RFC, and then assignment of clients using the transaction code SC C4. This is the most important thing, how an IDOC triggers or explain about how an ID, how an IDOC triggers. IDOC triggers based on partner, partner profile W20 and the standard print program W uh, where we assign message type. Message type in turn assigned to an IDOC type. IDOC type is a group of segments. Process code. From the partner profiles W20 inboard or outboard process code, the system finds the partner type output details are picked up. Upon the execution of function module, the output is identified and the code searches for the two parameters like partner number and output type maintained in W20 partner profiles for the outbound IDOX. Function module, which is linked to a process code. The IDOC is created on the execution of this function module, inbound or outbound function module, that we will see them in the next slide. IDOC is copied to the server as IDOC file and it can be seen using the A11 transaction directory. This IDOC then will be sent to the EDA subsystems like Gentron or OpenText or IBM Sterling integrators. They are like third party EDA subsystems. We can name few message types. What are all the inbound or outbound process codes and functional modules? So we can see here inbound process codes, message types. Inbound process codes are like DEBM. Debmas, customer master data, IDOC underscore input, input underscore debitor, order ORTE, orders, purchase orders like in, inbound IDOCs, so through which the sales orders are getting created in the system, IDOC underscore input underscore orders, ORDR, order SP sales order confirmation, IDOC underscore input underscore orders, and then DLV delivery, delivery IDOC underscore input underscore delivery are the function modules. Outbound process codes are like SD10, Sales order confirmation, DELV delivery confirmation, SD09 invoice, and SHPM shipment confirmation. The outbound function modules are like IDAC underscore output underscore orders, IDAC underscore output underscore DL, DLVRY, IDAC underscore output underscore invoice, and IDAC underscore output underscore shipment. You need to search for the um, customized or Z user exits which are available in the function modules, whether it is an inbound or outbound whenever you wanted to make a change into the inbound function module or outbound mm -hmm. function modules based on the data which is not available either in the inbound IDOCs or outbound IDOCs with the help of technical teams that is about consultants. So this is all about the interview questions on IDOCs. Hope you all will like it. Thank you all. Have a nice day.